Hello there, I'm Nigel Mill. Welcome back to another episode of Borderlands 3 Guns, Love, and Tentacles. <laughs> All in one. All of them inside in one sentence. Guns, Love, and Tentacles. <laughs> so, Gage's Gifts. I have one of them pending? Maybe one of these areas, maybe. Okay, so, <laughs> enough about my uh, rambling. I have a boss battle, probably, right in front of me. So, let's do this! You want to see true power, worm? Bonded champion! As Githian's strength flows through me, now it flows through you! Destroy them! I shall do as you command. Empowered Scala. Okay, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, okay. You're gonna do something. Gotta. I gotta take care of the uh, nuisance over here. Gotta take care of them. All right. Okay. Uh, in your head, in your head, in your head, in your head. Why? Why are you not? Why are you not being damaged? Do you have a supporter? Ah, empowered scholar. Probably that's why. Holy hell, mama! Mama, Sita! Get me out of here! Jeez. Okay. Okay, so this color is buffing them. Ah, oh, goddammit, radioactive Yaiza. Okay. More explodey do daddies. Ah, there you go. Alright. You, you even if you're buffed, I'm gonna destroy you. I'm gonna destroy you. There you go. You have been destroyed. Don't run away from me. Don't run away from me. Coming here was a mistake. Immune. You shall be playing the town square. Damn, reloading. Whoa, 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 jeez. Oh. No. 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 You're not gonna. You're not gonna empower Scotland. Always hungry. Come on! I got you. I got you by the cock. Okay, not not anymore. It seems. Who? What in the hell am I supposed to do here? Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Ride me. Ride me, sweet prince. Ride. <laughs> this is pretty uh, freakishly cool. Okay. <laughs> awesome. I'm not getting close to that uh, spinner over there. <laughs> no way am I going to get close to that. No, get away. Get away. You are. You are nigh invulnerable, so get away. There you go. Ah. Ouchie. Ah, goddammit, come on. Uh, that doesn't work. I gotta I gotta do something with this. You are running away from me way too much, my my annoying scholar. You. Nope. Nope. There you go. God damn. God freaking damn. You will. 
will regret ever doing that. Golly! You will be the first. Ah, you will be the first. Ah, okay. Coming! No. Okay, that's not gonna do anything. That's not gonna do anything. At least uh, he doesn't uh, do anything except melee. At least. I'm st I keep getting stuck. God damn. Here I go again. You know, that's not fair that they uh, mix in uh, snipers. God damn. God damn. Where's the buddy? There it is. God! Get away from me, you bastards! Ah oh, man, this is gonna explode. Okay. They died. Great. Ah, there you go. Can you uh, give me a lift over here, Bobo? Thank you. Is he recovering armor now? Yep. It is armor. So, ho, ho, you are screwed. Um, um, excuse me. Oh, I can go through here. Perfect. Wish. You are there you go. Than I, presumed. I shall see how long that lasts, worm. In the meantime, once you wiggle back to your burrow, tell my Vincent I'll see him again very soon. Lady, you suck. That was one of the most douchiest bosses. Bosses. What is this? <laughs> like, okay, it it probably is my fault, but some of those enemies had those overpowered sniper rifles and the bombs that take away 99% of my health. So, is that fair? None of my attacks take away 99% health on a boss so I call that unfair <laughs> but hey I did it barely but I did it okay what is over here ah Geronimo no, one of the wedding presents should be around there go find it uh, I knew my explorative nature would come across oh, here we go that one's from I just met that cowboy the other day. Clay. Cool, dude. <gasps> Great voice. Anyway, his letter says, Congratulations. Smooth operator. Not, not one for long letters. Uh, and is, is there um, another page? Or... Oh. Um, nope. No, that's, that's it. Oh. Short, simple, but very... I didn't get the message, Clay. <laughs> I did not get the message, but... Okay, you proved the point, and uh, I congratulate you. Founder's office. I have to go all the way here for an office? Really? Oh, God, the boss. Uh, I got something for that. The boss got me up and running. I tell you, that was uh, the, the boss itself is not hard. It's the enemies that are around with the super overpowered sniper rifles. That's what I meant. That's the hard part. Okay, more tentacles. Of course, more tentacles. Why not? Not enough guns, not enough love, but a lot Search of tentacles. Around for anything that might shed some more light on your situation. Shh, I gotta talk to this fish over here. Hey, hey you! You wanna hear a joke? 
jokes coming at the gals over here. Tell me a joke, uh, fish. Where can fish sell their valuables? Where? A prawn shop. Ah, that's right. Give me your loot. <laughs> oh god. I think Gearbox purposely does this. <laughs> does these kinds of jokes. Delta 3 tape. And old ways are better. The old ways are better. Okay. Whoa! That's a Delta 3! Super old doll tech! Oh. My granddad had a player. They're like impossible to find anymore. Oh, do you have one of those? Oh, but the Lodge always provides. Ah, you I have this. a vintage Delta 3 player. Return to me and we shall reveal the dark secrets within. <laughs> this is as far as I can guide you, friend. But I've got some work for you when you have time to swing by. Also, I'm very lonely. Holy crap. Is that the word? Skull Masher. Have I tested this weapon before? Have I? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh My god. This. Ho ho ho. Oshante. This weapon. Oh, this weapon. Oh, this. This gun of mine. Woo! 13,000 times 5 damage. <laughs> this Sandhawk doesn't work anymore. Oh my god. I gotta test this. Oh hell yeah, I gotta test this. Oh hell yeah. It's like a sniper shotgun. At the at the same time, it's a sniper and a shotgun. <laughs> okay. And it only costs one bullet. Oh, this could be a this could be an amazing weapon. Give me the legendaries. Wing! A quasar. Not interested in it. Too bad. Okay. Um, let's see over here. Do I get some side quests? Nope. Uh, let's go to the lodge again. I am here with my new skull masher, right? Skull smasher or skull masher? Skulls! Masher. Okay. <laughs> I always thought it was smasher, but it's not that. Might I say, welcome back to my humble establishment. I am over here at the counter. As always. So, uh, Mancubus. How much do I owe you? Because you seem like a guy that is uh, very demonic and favors can, you know, favors can rack up. A huge amount of debt. Coasters. We will need more coasters. I would love that. Mancubus, John, you said you could help with this strange artifact? Name your price. Indeed. Please place this relic you've recovered into the player so that we might reveal the mysteries of the young groom's curse. For free, right? For free? <laughs> For free, right? Huh? For free? <gasps> You you do your stuff over there. I'm gonna be back for you. Oh, DJ night uh, night uh, night time. Midnight. Ah, la, la, la. Personal log day 175. Vincent went to Gideon's heart chamber alone. I chased after him, but I was too late. The heart consumed him. But he still lives, entombed within. Perhaps there is still a way to free him. Vincent's research showed the precursor technology had some sort of bond with Githian's heart. I will need something to focus this bond. A ring? Yes! I will bring a sample of Githian's heart back to our ship for further study. Ah, uh, that's not probably uh, a good idea. Of course. The ring's power comes from the monster's heart itself. Well, 
Well then, our purpose is made clear. We must destroy the heart. Eldritch Adventure Ho! The monster's heart lies deep below the town. Directly below the wedding venue, in fact. That same power coursing through the young groom is blocking off all access. Well, what if we use the power of the heart to cut through the force field? Eleanor said there was a piece of the heart on her research ship. Ah. There is an old doll research ship high atop the cursed mountain known as... Negul Neshai. Okay. You heard Tall, Dark, and Spooky? Head to that mountain! I'll stay here and keep an eye on the grooms. Sure. Let me... What is wrong with you? Oh, you are a uh, chain. My darling, when the vessel has succumbed, I shall return to you. Wainwright, what did I just say? <laughs> Winnie, no, don't give in. Don't speak demonic, please. I'm sorry, Alastair. I'm trying to fight it. That's better. Now, good luck, Vault Hunter, and do hurry. I'm over here, Hammerlock. I'm over here. <laughs> you, ah, sorry, I didn't ah, mean yes. to... Another conversation. You know, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but are you aware you have a reputation of being something of a chatty Charlie? That is true. I hate that part about me. But hey, I am doing a YouTube video, so I gotta be chatty Cathy, right? Or else... Well... You're good. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be a youtuber now would I <laughs> okay but before I do anything Might else I trouble you for the use of your talents trouble me away before I require a book uh dome what could be more harmless a lot it could be a cursed book just like everything in this uh, world over here Githian had quite an influence on this sh uh, <laughs> on this uh, planet. So okay, so before I go to the Eldritch uh, Woods or whatever, I'm going to do this side quest, the Nibble Nomicon. Nibble Nomicon. Is that what I think it is? I'm not gonna say it in case I'm wrong about it in the future, but. Let's see, just a quick jaunt to the local library to pick up a cookbook, uh, in and out, 20 minute adventure. <laughs> Somewhere in the archives rests a cookbook of fathomless darkness, the Nibble Nomicon. Mm. Speak with the librarian, Harriet. She may know where it is hidden. Oh, dirty Harriet. I once kept the tome safe when the shadows were young. Now its fail text is laid bare for any fool with a library card. Well, it is a library, so... Hey, the debt has been paid on Gideon. <laughs> so, one left. Okay. Let's see... I'm gonna check uh, the other areas and see if I have a side quest somewhere. I do! Oh! Cold case, very questions. Uh, maybe for the next episode, if this doesn't take too long, then probably this one. But here we go. Ooh, so well bright. Met, my brothers, and welcome to another convocation of our most venerated book club. Let's jump right in. Last week, we read the ninth Eidolon of Loss, written by he whose name is Oblivion, huh? the Forgotten, <laughs> Sleeper Beyond the Gate of Silence. And sensate tongue of the umbral void. Let's just open up with first impressions. Anybody? Well, I thought he whose name is Oblivion's earlier works were better. Ninth Eidolon of Lost read like a children's book. I mean, I barely descended into gibbering madness and I read it twice. I don't know. I thought he who's whatever did a pretty good job. It was a lot easier to follow than Eidolons of Lost 1 through 8. Well, that's just the problem, isn't it? I didn't join an eldritch book club to not go mad in an all-consuming quest for forbidden knowledge. Well, that's your opinion. I happen to like it. All right, brothers, settle down. Brother Lexios, what did you think of the author's decision to describe the Great Ones in text rather than unknowable dread glyphs scrawled in the blood of a willing acolyte? 
Well, I found it needlessly reductive, hardly befitting one such as... He whose name is Oblivion the Forgotten One, sleeper beyond the gate of silence and sensei tongue of the umbral void, but I'm sure Brother Codex would disagree. Honestly, I hardly noticed a difference. What? Didn't notice? Did you even read the book? Well, I listened to the books on Echo version while doing laundry, but I got the gist. The gist? You got the gist of the Forgotten One's ninth Eidolon of loss listening to it on an Echo. Githian, give me strength. Is this a book club or an Echo club? Honestly. Brother Codex, I have to say I kind of agree with Brother Lexios here. We all agreed to read the book, not to listen to it. Listening to it is reading, with your ears. It's really not. There are subtleties and nuances in the text you just can't capture through a recorded reading. Well, if I read the text for too long, I start to get a headache. <laughs> yes, Brother Codex, that's kind of the point. That's just what the onset of Eldritch Madness feels like. I can go plenty mad listening to the Forgotten One's ramblings, thank you very much. Well, speaking of the author, we mustn't neglect... Don't say the author's intent. The author's intent! Here we go again, you and your Githian damned authorial intent! If he whose name is Oblivion, the Forgotten One, sleeper beyond the gate of silence, and sensate tongue of the umbral void, had wanted me to read the book, maybe he should have used better handwriting, or gotten an editor, or added some Githian damn illustrations! You would have the Ninth Eidolon of Loss be reduced to a comic book? What's next? Adapted to a movie? <laughs> Don't give him any ideas. Fine! You know what? I'll just read it right now, shall I? And what? We'll just sit here in silence waiting? Yeah! Sounds great! Fine! Fine! <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. Weird, but okay. Hey, mind if I join you guys over here? <laughs> oh, they were non, non-violent. I should have gone over here. What the hell were you reading? Uh, the hunters, and a lot of uh, little words that I cannot uh, decipher because the quality is too low. All right, you you guys uh, keep on keeping on. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to Dirty uh, Harriet. Looking for a book called the Nibble Nomicon. Know anything about it? You need a library card, but I can hardly hear you over this blasted bonded book club. <laughs> no one is taking anything out until I can hear myself think. There, stop talking. Now you'll need the proper credentials. Acquire the library card, and I shall look the other way. Why? Why would I silence them? They are not doing anything. They they stopped talking. They agreed to wait in silence forever and ever and ever. So why why would I mess up their day? Why would I? That doesn't make any sense. To silence the book club. Uh, fine. Here we go. Okay. Whoop! Excuse me! If you are perusing Crystal Mystery's case in tech, please do so silently! Thanks, guys! Woo! This sniper rifle has a lot of recoil! Has a lot of recoil! Those better not be guns, you hearing! Ah, no, they're not guns, you're hearing. I never believed They're not in guns, Gideon. so I don't worry about that. <laughs> I never believed in Gideon. <laughs> Gideon. <laughs> uh, Harriet, shut up. 
Man, this sniper could be extremely powerful. I have a very nice chair and a very nice book. And if I have to put down my book and get up from my chair, I'm going to be quite cross with you. Oh yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Huh? What are you gonna do about it? Huh? 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 Uh... You're gonna do nothing about it. <laughs> Library card. Every upstanding citizen has one of these. Really? <laughs> Now that a sensible volume has been restored, I can tell you that the Nibble Nomicon is located in the Forbidden Stacks. Though you. I should warn you, everyone who's ever checked that book out has met a terrible fate. Late fees! <laughs> That's the curse of that book. Late fees. I think I can handle late fees on a book. You don't have to worry about that. I will admit it is true what the young lady said. Terrible fates have befallen all who gaze upon the Nibble Nomicon's accursed pages. Which are all of them. Right. That's what I expected. So... So this book, was it the audio file I found somewhere in here? Like Celeste and Mark? I think it was. Probably it is. Probably it is. Okay, I need you to uh I need you to get the, get the hell out of here, Bubbos. Love an extra set of hands. Helping hands. Alright, now that that's done. Warlord! Here we go. Good. The Nibble Nomicon is near, just through there. Quickly, Vault Hunter. I'm ravenous with anticipation. Mm. One of these poor souls must have botched the frozen daiquiri recipe. A fickle drink, that. Well, one of them must have the book. You'll just have to pry it from their cold, fragile hands. Am I going to be frozen like all of these? I think I think Mancubus, what he does is uh, he feeds on curses, probably. So I don't. That's the only. That's the only way he would want a cursed book. But then again, he's a demon. So uh, yeah. I don't know what how demons think. Let's see. What's the objective? Destroy frozen bodies. One. Oh, I gotta melee them? Really? Okay, you win. Two for Whoa! one, here we go! The tiger pounces! Nope. It's just normal ah, melee. The grand Definitive work on infernal grammar. Useful for pedantic diabolists, but not what we seek. Keep searching. Is that the Nibble Nomicron right there? I already see it. It has some, uh. Ooh, has some, uh. Some things. Yeesh. Ugh. Weird. A weird book. And it has a nose, which I've never seen in a book before. Okay. Here we go. Two, three, four. Hey, Vermivorous mysteries. Well, this could prove invaluable for summoning extra planar varkids. Only the Nibble Nomicon has the recipes I crave. It must be around here somewhere. Dude, it's the same book with a nose that I just saw. It's frozen solid. Do you do you not? Okay. Aha! That one oh. tried to grab the valve for the central heating system. A good idea. Pick it up. Now, put the valve in its proper place and dispel the frost. Maybe then, the location of the tome will become clear. Sure. Why not? 
Ah! No. Ah! Oh hell yeah! The tome is revealed. Burn the book. Quickly now. Pick it burn. Up. Burn the book. Quickly. Quickly. Burn. Finally, I've been freezing my deckled edges <laughs> off over here. Get me out of here before I get all moldy. Hmm. It seems there are others who share my literary interests. Go about your dark business and right, them out. dissuade them. Okay. Not, not what I expected at all, but here we go. Cannot see. God damn these guys. Armed and dangerous. With the huge DPSs. Siren pretender! Feed her to get the No. Don't feed me through that tentacle monster. Reinforce me! I hide not! Except this one time! There's a lot of you, but I can win this fight. Just watch me. Just watch me win this. <laughs> I hope I was spooky. Lag, lag. There you go. Perfect though. Finally, the unhallowed mysteries of the Nibble Nomicon will soon be revealed. The vegan turducken. The eggplant homajon. The elder dip. Sure. Take it. And whatever you do, do not read it yourself. Never in a million years. Unutterable ingredients. Inconceivable flavors. Okay. I mean, a cursed person should uh, read this, but not Amara. Now, Here we go. swiftly, away to the librarian to check it out. Ah, don't uh. listen to that old stick in the mud. You can read me. Come on, open me up. Just check the table of contents real quick. Nah, nah, I'm fine. Even if I, even if I wanted to. Listen, between you and me. Page 666, there is a recipe for fettuccine and Demogorgon Sola. It is to die for, literally. Then no. Do not be swayed by its charms, however zesty they may be. Right. And that, even if I could, I can't do it because the game doesn't allow it, even if I wanted to. So, yep. Not gonna read it. The origins of the Nibble Nomicon are as muddled as its recipe for mojito. <laughs> Some say it was penned by Tetra, the mad scribe of Athena. Others say it was vomited from the void, sickened by a sin so black that even darkness turned away. There are even whispers that it was copied and pasted from the cooking blog of death herself. Alright, you don't have to convince me into reading it, Mankibus. Uh, don't convince me any more than I already attempted to. So, don't contact me ever again. Alright, here I am, dirty... I dirty gal. My book. No thanks to you. <laughs> Just do your job and I'll be out of your hair. Oh, you found the book. Well, go on, give it here. There you go. I hope you don't read it. I hope. Now, I'll just open it to stamp the date here on this perfectly innocuous end page and... No. What's this? Some kind of... recipe? Uh, oh, no. I can't... stop reading it! Oh, well. What... One, <laughs> what was once Ashi. Harriet? But there's no saving her. Ah, this is why the book belongs with me. Nothing good ever comes of meddling with the mysteries. Gotta that's, hand it to me. That's probably true. 
That's probably oh. true, guy. I don't know if he, yeah. he, he's like a main character or something like... I know he's like a main character on this DLC, yeah, but... I think he's like the main, one of the main, main, main <laughs> characters that like... Uh, G Githian uh, was uh, like a like a vault monster, right? Like a, a curse-ridden monster that you know made everyone's life miserable, and uh, eventually uh, took control of Vincent and Eleanor, making other people cursed. So. But I think. Oh, come on! Get I, up! Get up! But I think. Uh, get the book and bring it to me without delay. But I think uh, Mancubus here is like a <laughs> nimble Nomicron. Uh, it's like a a keeper of the curses or something like that. Like he, like Eleanor could not. Uh control Mancubus at the beginning so he's unique Mancubus is kind of unique maybe he's an embodiment of uh, Githian maybe or maybe he's just a super powerful cursed that cannot be cursed or he thrive or his curse is thriving of curses or eating them who knows but he is uh, probably the only one who can handle curses without being possessed for now. Let me see what the where's the nimble nomicron. There it is. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna change it for my book of Maya. No, never, ever, never am I going to change it. Here we go. Yeah, pick me up, but no steps. Got it. You come near me with a stab, and I'll make sure you live to regret it for a long, long time. Oh, I'm not the one who's going to give you a stab. I am not the one. Someone else is going to. Not me. <laughs> so, here we go. Let's go to the lodge again. Let's complete this quest. I am here with your accursed book. Wonderful. Just leave it on the bar so that I may attempt one of its recipes. All right. All right. But if you turn into a monster, I'll tear you apart tentacle by tentacle. <laughs> no need to worry. I am quite proficient in such rituals. But what to make? Damned chowder. Too salty. Sugar-free sugar cookies. <laughs> To evil. Perhaps. <laughs> yes, of course. Xylorgos queso. Queso! For this recipe, I must summon the foulest, most profane substance known to the Nibble Novicon. What is that? Clotu cilantro nicto. Are you gonna do it right now? Oh. Oh. Did you just spit that out your mouth? Uh. Cilantro. Uh, politics, theology, greed. All pale in comparison to the number of friendships shattered over this unassuming herb. Okay. Now, carefully transmit the final ingredient to the cauldron over the fireplace. Is this going to blow up the Table entire room? Cloths. Blast! I forgot the tablecloths for the reception! I knew there was something! Now we're getting somewhere, huh, Vault Hunter? Excuse me over here while I concoct a demonic recipe. Yes, ah. yes. With the case so complete, the townsfolk will be drawn to the lodge in droves. Of course, uh. someone should taste it. Just to be sure. Go ahead, you... Believe me, I'd love yeah, to. You... Really, I would. But, uh, it's not my cheat day, so... Yeah, no. you, you go ahead. <laughs> you can go ahead. Oh, no, no. Not you, dear Vault Hunter. Simply feed a bowl to the Nibble Nomicon. We shall see soon enough if the recipe was a success. Why the Nibble Nomicron? Why? 
If it's an accursed recipe, it may destroy it and all my efforts would have been in vain. Hey, are you doing okay over there? Yeah, you're doing fine. You're just dancing. <laughs> I was in a cult myself once. Maya. Not too structured for my liking. When I eviscerate Maya. someone who doesn't share my specific beliefs, God damn you, I Ava. to be on my own terms, not because it's expected of me. Zylogrus Castle. Keep telling yourself those flecks are peppers. I didn't, but here we go. How do you like that? Mm. Oh, that's... That's some of the best damn Xylogus queso I have ever had. Uh, it's pronounced the queso? The cilantro perfectly overpowers and ruins any other redeeming flavors. It's so good, it makes me want to puke just to taste it again. Don't do that. Don't do... Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Sweet, savory success. I am most grateful for your assistance. I am grateful for the guns that it puked. Crossroad? Did I see an N system somewhere? Is that like a Q system? Like an OPQ system or something? What the hell? Standardized N system. Huh. Okay. Follow your beckoning you are weird but you are helpful so far he has been nothing but helpful and since he's a side quest giver that means that he is uh, that he is not an antagonist he's not the final boss he's a, he is someone that I would very much like on my team you know he gets some getting used to and then when you get used to him He's a freaking badass with curses. Alright. So, after all of this, I surmised that the aliens or alien uh, organism or organisms are the Eldritch or Elrich. One of those two. Elrich, Eldritch, whatever. Uh, so those were aliens that were on this planet a whole bunch of time ago. And Githian is one of those? I don't know what Githian is except for a ginormous tentacle monster. But, uh, something inside Githian is, like, there's something evil inside of his heart where Vincent went and never came back. I, I killed Vincent, right? No, probably, wait a moment. Was the, was the Vincent I killed Vincent? Like the real, real Vincent? Or are they trapped? Is he trapped in the uh, close to the heart? Because the entity, the rings, the Eleanor ring and the uh, Vincent ring are entities on their own, like I've said. They're not... They are their own entities, so they can hop, uh, hop between uh, hosts and whatnot. But maybe I did kill Vincent at the at the beginning. Maybe I did, but uh, yeah, it's so confusing. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take it as I did kill Vincent, and he thanked me for it. He turned very old when I uh, destroy. Uh, I mean took the ring off of his uh, body, so that's what I will go with. So, these aliens, I'm very curious about them. I am very curious, uh, what the hell is happening here? What is the source of all this evil? It's probably uh, Githian's heart, but how can that even be possible? I gotta find out. 
on the next episode, I will go through this side quest, our cold case buried questions. But that is for me. That is it for me for tonight. I'm gonna rest my back a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, yeah. Soon? Soon I will not be able to do uh, a lot of videos anymore. So, probably the next time or... Uh, not the next time because I'm planning to record tomorrow also. But soon, I will not be able to do any videos for a long time because of the babysitting business that I told you about on the Resident Evil 4 gameplay. <laughs> so, yeah. Unfortunately, I cannot go back into this game if I cannot finish this DLC and then I'll be curious forever. And, you know. Let's see, let's see what happens when I get back. But yeah, next episode will be this side quest, probably if I can remember. <laughs> and uh, whatever side quest I can manage or see in a distance. And then, after I get rid of all the side quests, I'm gonna go to the main quest. Sound good? Great. <laughs> Thank you everybody so much for watching this video, I hope to see you on the next one, and have a good night. <laughs>